you're here in Ghana. Oh yes. Uh, so what, what's your what are you doing? The mission of peace, giving a complete solution. Afghana Peace School. Okay. You still do not believe that your opponents in Ocean State uh, uh, regular shall have won that election? You, know? you know, by electoral hack, electoral law, when there are conflicts, infractions, irregularities in elections, we go to tribunal. And there are three stages of tribunal, the lower tribunal, the appeal tribunal, Supreme Court. So we are just the second stage. And I believe that by God's grace, the truth will prevail at the end of the day. And um, the 2015 elections has been postponed. Are you also one of the Nigerians who believe that um, that postponement was necessary? Well, uh, from what I heard, presentation by the INEC chairman, it's obvious that INEC wasn't ready. Because they said they said they require a few days to get to that together. And after their readiness, they now give security agencies the network. And that has not been done before postponement. And if you can see what's happening after postponement, and they're still quite busy too. So I think it makes a lot of sense. Or else we are less of 40 percent Nigerians not voting the which is very bad for the Nigerian system. You are aware of that controversial tape released by Sahara reporters in which your voice uh, was um, heard, the one involving Senator Bani Koro, Governor Yofayoshi. Were you at that meeting? Was that your there was there was no meeting actually. No, Yofayoshi went to the army camp to go and complain about the army, the Nigerian army arresting his uh, people, alleging that then Governor Yofayoshi bribed the Nigerian soldiers to arrest his people. That was just all. Yeah. So if you listen to that tape, maybe if you listen to it. It's non-issue. The issues discussed are non-issue completely. And the same thing, yes, they showed on TV yesterday, you will read book. My wish on our election, I'm telling you so that one. This is on physical. This is all, this is not being topeted by PC. But just, this one just a voiceover. So, I don't know, so you can see the difference in what they are trying to so, get. are you saying that uh, in that meeting, that meeting never took place, or that yeah, what it I'm was saying, misrepresented? What I'm saying was that, listen to that tip, one. If I listen to that tip, you know the content. The issue being canvassed at that table is complaint by she about soldiers arresting PDP or disarming policemen. Simple. In all fairness, I listened to the tape and you did not say much. But there is a particular. What did I say? I uh, said calm down. Calm you said down. calm down. Those were the two words. That's I can all. confirm that. But there were worrying ones when Senator Banikolo was telling uh, an army general that he was, if he didn't cooperate, his promotion lies in his hand. Didn't you find that worrying? Hmm. What happened was that. Uh, we were told that the army, the army were disarming the policemen, the Nigerian policemen. So in that case, you are, you are supposed to work together as partners. How can you not be worried on that partner? That was what he was cautioning there towards that, that, was that, that was that game. But he was saying as a senator of the Federal Republic, he was telling an army general, if you don't uh, cooperate with me, your promotion lies in my hand. And now I'm saying, what, what are you doing to get I'm, I'm not, I'm talking about Senator Bani Kodo. Yeah, what I'm saying, the issue of grand, the issue of, the issue in contention, yeah. to, so to say, was the Nigerian army disarming Nigerian policemen. So he was just advised the general that he must cooperate with the government agency, he must all work together, the Nigerian army, the policemen, the civil defense, etc. So, you know, there is a propaganda noise about people that they just make noise on any Look at the case of Arabic Shola and Eric Osho election. When you are see complaining, APC complaining, see the Omisho, you know, all sorts of things. These are the issues. This one is not possible. Yeah, okay, like the, okay, like the, uh, the video, the Arabic Shola alleged regime, regime video. Why didn't you present that in the tribunal? It was, it was converse at the tribunal. And converse. But you know, Nigerian law does not take any uh, evidence to constitution, but it was just converse at the tribunal too. And the people who are there will video their lives. They appear on video, they are there in the press conference. What do you want? So you, you, these are the facts you have to follow. No noise making. You're, you're, you're a leading member of the ruling PDP. Would you agree that the PDP has failed in securing Nigerians with the with what is going on in the northeast of Nigeria? I just I pity people who ask that question. Terrorism is a worldwide phenomenon. It shouldn't be a campaign issue. I've told people I said in England was Sky News. It should not be a campaign issue. It's a general problem we all face together. You cannot reward a, terror, a terrorist with presidency. It's a wrong notion. You must, you must be educated. You must know the reality. Terrorism is a worldwide phenomenon. But it's fought by all parties. But the constitution of Nigeria empowers the president to use the full weight of the federal armed forces to defeat um, 
terrorism. So it lies is its responsibility at first. What I'm saying is that terrorism is a worldwide phenomenon. Agreed. When is something is happening in Nigeria, even in America, other forces keep join. So terrorism must be fought by all. It should be a campaign issue. It's like a patriotism and desperation on part of APC to use as campaign issue. If the APC wins the 2015 general election, if there is a new president, President Buhari, would your, in a free and fair election, would you, your party, cooperate with him? Well, uh, you know, when you are going to war, you do have to say to lose. I don't, be, I don't believe if it's, if it's can win Nigeria. You can only make noise, but that's not to shoot for it. All the cities, all the states they are, they are leading, they are, they are, they are not new ones there. And when, when you say you want to increase employment, what are your parameters? Where are you? You, you can only change when you know where you are. You just make noise on television, on papers, nothing to show. Okay, finally, you're going to uh, President Jonathan. You have met him. You have met him. Why do people misunderstand him? What is it about President Jonathan that Nigerians don't see? Because he's too civil. He's a true democrat. He's a true democrat. And Nigerians are used to the old forces of military, military gangalism, noise making, propaganda, all over the place. But Jonathan is a gentleman, a democrat, and very civil man. So Nigeria will get to appreciate him as we go along. But there's no government who has done as much as Jonathan has done in Nigerian history. Even, even in the northern history, look at the Amagiri schools. It was there since 1960, as a sultan, as a, as a, as a sultan um, Saddam Nas program. Only, only Jonathan approved and established the schools. So not by none of you know, the president as well. Look at the old sector. By the time we give the government in 2010, there are 5,000 rules working network. We have 5,000 today. The railways were already gone, Nigeria. I'm sure you know all these things. So what's up to railway now? Look at the power sector and the air sector. So these are issues that we have to convert. Don't convert things that are negative. You have to promote your country. You have to love your country. You, you, these people, the APC are angry people. They are angry. They are desperate people. You can't do policy. You are going to desperate people or who are angry, who are vicious. You know, they are just desperate to grab and grab and grab. Look at what's happening in Lagos. They are grabbing. Corruption everywhere. How can you say what to call corruption? What to lose your, you your financier? I mean, it's your financier. These are really corrupt people. By well, your candidate also has Chief Bode George, who has been convicted of stealing. The candidate in the of Jimmy Agbaje. Bode George was, was not convicted of stealing. Supreme Court is trying to acquit him. Don't make a mistake. I don't commit legal, 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 legal problems. He went through the process of court, court of a lower court, court of appeal. So we call that the final court of the land. This time you are him. So that's is a forgotten issue. Is there a reboot? Have you have been tried at all? But the APC will argue that Tinubu has not been convicted of any crime. To of course, many many crimes. What's that? That's because Satana, Tinubu Gate, Toronto, one of Chicago Gate. So many other things now. So it's it's, it's always a mess in controversies and you know and the corruption everywhere.